Well, that's pretty neat. Hey guys, some time ago I was contacted by toolganizer.com. That's toolganizer.com, not tool organizer. There's no O in there. Note that. And they shipped Andy the Cajun, that's me, some stuff. And notice no billing address. And the reason for that is they didn't charge me for any of this. So this was sent to the channel with no cost to the channel for me to review for you guys. So let's get into it. This is Toolganizer. Toolganizer is a set of tool organization products that are 3D printed and they are made by a family owned business out of Vero Beach, Florida. And I know that because their website says they're a family owned business out of Vero Beach, Florida. They do standard wrench rails and they also do custom wrench rails. This is a custom one, and the reason it's custom is because we took pictures of my toolbox and I corresponded back and forth, and they did some custom products for me to showcase their product. And the reason they did that is because they wanted to reorganize one of my drawers on my box for me to show you guys their product. At first glance, this product doesn't look terribly different, maybe, to some other products like, say, Toolbox Widget. Well, here's the thing. Toolbox Widget is not progressive. In other words, the slot for your 5 16 wrench is the same size as the slot for your inch and a quarter wrench on a toolbox widget. So what that means is, is for 15 wrenches, where this takes up this much room, nine and a half inches to be specific. So this is the 15th wrench here in toolbox widgets. And they're all the way up against the front of the drawer, just like the tape measure is. And they take just over 13 inches. You can say 13 and a quarter for 15 wrenches inside the toolbox widget. And side by side comparison, that really kind of hammers home the difference in space savings you get with these deals here. Now I did mention that this was a custom wrench rail and that they made this for me to organize my box. Don't feel like that's a special just for the YouTube guy. If you go on the website, and we'll look at that a little later in the video. If you go on the website, you can customize your own wrench rails as well. They sent me this for combination wrenches. They sent me this thing for uh, flare nut wrenches. They sent me this thing for my um, four-way angle head wrenches. And they sent me this thing for another set of wrenches that's in the drawer. And I told them they can send me whatever they want to send me to show me. They sent me this thing, which is an angled holder for larger wrenches. And uh, we're going to have a problem with this one in my box, but we'll get to that in a minute. That has more to do with my wrenches than their product. But uh, they, they can even do angled wrenches for your larger wrenches if the height of the working end is too large for the drawer to close. And they also do some other cool stuff. This is a screwdriver tray. This is the snap-on tray that comes with these snap-on screwdrivers. And I'll just show you the space savings difference. So were I to run this exactly the same position, I'd have room for three more screwdrivers in this tray. And I would take off about an inch in length and have three more screwdrivers. So quite a space saving in this thing. And Again, this stuff's all made in the USA, and they do somewhere on every product that I've seen uh, that's big enough for it anyways, put USA on it. I like a proud American company, so I think that's kind of cool. What you're looking at here is two other products that they have. One is the extension holder for sockets, and the other is the ratchet holder. The ratchet holder comprises a handle holder and a socket head holder, and all of this stuff is magnetized. And it's sufficiently magnetic that it does put a bit of a hold on your tools. So they're not going to wander off because the magnet is holding them in place as well. And it's really apparent on the uh, extension holder that it's got a good grip on that thing. It's not going to go anywhere. And that's quite an advantage over some similar products like maybe the um, tool grid. The tool grid's not magnetized. So if you, you know, roll your toolbox around very aggressively, you can rattle all your tools about. This is nicer. Now, I don't generally use this sort of thing, so I'm not going to use this. But what I did find handy was these little things. These little U-shaped deals. 
I've got this Mac handled extension and it's pretty heavy and kind of works like a steamroller and rattle around in the box and kind of knock everything about or at least the ratchets anyways. So I took two of those and I put them at a spot sufficient so that the thing doesn't move at all. And it does a great job of holding that still even in moving the box. One more point on these ratchet organizers. If you stagger them head to tail like I have them here, they really don't take up very much more room than just laying the ratchets in the drawer. And they do really help with keeping the ratchet upright and making it easy to grab. Unlike this situation here, where your ratchet's just kind of off on the side. Another thing it does for you, if you're working on vehicles that aren't yours that will disappear and maybe never come back, it makes it pretty apparent that you're missing a tool versus if that ratchet's gone, you may not even notice it. It's just kind of a spot in the box and a couple of those roll over and now you've lost a $120 ratchet. So this is pretty good stuff. I like this a lot better than I thought I would actually. I'm glad he sent me these. I may even order some more of them. So one issue you can run into or may have heard about with 3D printed products is durability. What can they hold up to? Well, this screwdriver holder is the thinnest thing he sent me. It's a large thing and there's not a lot of material there. And it to me is plenty strong enough to uh, hold screwdrivers. Now, could I break it? Sure, I could break it, but it's not gonna break easily relative to its job. So I think this is plenty strong enough. Another durability issue that you may have heard of or may have run into with 3D printed products is their susceptibility to certain chemicals. So that's a question, you know, if, if I clean this stuff off or I clean my wrenches with brake cleaner, is this gonna turn into a puddle of red goo in my box? Um, if, I, if I wipe off my wrenches with a tub of towels towel, what's gonna happen to this stuff? Well, let's, uh, let's test it out and we'll see how it all works out. So first off, let's jump right in with leaded brake cleaner. So there's plenty of that on there. And we're gonna let it soak for a minute. And that plastic is completely unfazed. It doesn't care at all. Now, obviously I rubbed off some of the, the paint there on the, the uh, five, but that was to be expected. Let's go with some PB Blaster. And that plastic, although lubricated, is totally fine. How about some Deep Creek? And unfazed. Now what I'm about to go through, I do expect to damage it. This is starting fluid. I expect starting fluid to tear this up. Huh. Looky there. Handled it like a champ. How about a little taste of gasoline? Okay, there's gasoline on it. So that didn't phase it. Let's try a tub of towels towel. Nothing to it. No red whatsoever. This is acetone. I know acetone will damage this stuff. And acetone damages most plastics, so we should not be surprised by that. So, oh, looky there. As I expected. Hear that? We have smoothed that out. In 3D printing, there's actually a thing called acetone smoothing where you use acetone vapor to smooth out the printer lines. So I expected the acetone to do some damage, but even then, as soon as it dries, it's nice and dry. It's not like it permanently damages the, uh, the product. And besides, who uses acetone with a wrench anyways? But at least now you know that of all the chemicals you're likely going to be exposed to while working with these things, the only one you realistically have to worry about is acetone. If you know of another chemical that's going to damage this stuff, be sure and post it in the comments so we can look out for it. 
But realistically, for wrenches, I think everything you're going to touch that's chemically oriented is going to be safe for this stuff here. Enough of the torture testing, enough of the examining of the product. Let's, uh, let's go organize a drawer. And this is the drawer we're organizing here. Over on this side, we've got standard combination wrenches from Wright Tools. We've got some Craftsman USA combination wrenches. And then when we get to this side over here, we've got some Mac Tools four-way angle heads, some Proto Stubbies, some uh, flare nut wrenches from Craftsman. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. So here we are on toolganizer.com, free shipping on orders of 35 or more. Uh, you can email them if there's something custom you'd like and they'll take care of you. I just wanted to take you through kind of some of the highlights of the page. It's a family owned business in Vero Beach, Florida. And if we go to this toolbox drawer mag system, check out these screwdriver holders. So they have large screwdriver holders and small screwdriver holders and I think they are pretty cool that you can stack them and kind of put them the way you want them and then if we come over to Milwaukee for example they make all these holders for the various batteries and the tools from Milwaukee and anybody's ever set up a productivity board uh, like a pegboard you find out real quick that pegboard doesn't do the best job actually a sheet of plywood with um, nails or screws probably is the better way to go well this basically takes you up a level from that in that you can put these different battery organizers and tool organizers on your productivity board and uh, really upgrade from the screws and uh, nails in the 2x4 technique but what I am gonna get if you come down here to this hand tool section, I could use another pliers rack in my toolbox. So I'm gonna add one of those to the cart. And then I'm gonna go to sockets. And I just wanna show you this real quick. So their socket organizers, they build custom to your box. So you can number them from left to right and you can tell them what sizes you want on it. If you want them run one row, two rows, or three rows, uh, close together, further apart, they can do every bit of that. And uh, you just let them know in the notes, you know, how you want it done. One last thing I want to tell you is if you go to the shopping cart and you go to checkout, once you get through putting in all your, your shipping information and you go to the payment section, a gift card or discount code bar is there and you can put in the code Cajun and that will get you 15% off. As you see there, my order went from $14.90 to $13.40. It's not a bunch, but uh, it's better than a kick in the head. Well, by the time I got around to editing and posting this video, my pliers racks had come in and I think these are his best work. The base is printed diagonally to the work, so that way if there's any non-union or what have you, uh, that fracture wouldn't break your pliers rack in half. Uh, the edges are nicely chamfered. Um, I think these are really well done. They're very low profile. They only probably add 3 16 of an inch in vertical lift to your tools. And I think the plier spacing is really, really good. I think he's thought that out. So I uh, emptied out my pliers in my work uh, cart here. We'll put some pliers in and see how it works. So this is all stuff that I actually keep on my roll cart and we'll just see how they fit in this thing. So there's a diagonal pair of snap-ons and they fit just like they do in my other rack. There's a pair of vampire tools, uh, the 47s from snap-on, just a cobalt uh, little needle nose vice grip the Swedish uh, pipe wrench and a regular American pipe wrench and all that fits in there real good and you know it holds it all straight and doesn't take up a bunch of room and you can still get to what you want to and you know you're missing a tool because there's an empty place some different pliers that uh, maybe a little more traditional 
Now this thing here doesn't fit in anything because of this ridiculous bolt on them, but these are good cutters. These Titan 12441s, these are real good for cutting just about anything. But again, they don't, they don't, they aren't pliers wrapped friendly because of their shape. So uh, you can probably have a few pairs of things that just don't fit in anything, and this is one of mine. Uh, the nice thing though about this being 3D printed is if you were going to put it over here on the edge, you could. Uh, take you know a piece of mild steel heat up with a torch and basically melt you a notch to put this in also if you contact tool organizer you know they'll they'll adjust this sizing to whatever you need also he sent me one of these single screwdriver holders now i don't particularly on my setup have a use for these but they are well put together, and I figure I'll show them to you since you took the time to send me one. Again, the base is printed in such a way that this thing's not going to fall apart on you. And uh, it's a real nice looking print job, I think. Very small slices. I'm sure this took a long time to print. Here's a regular old snap-on square handle, and it fits, you know, just right. And here's two of the triangle handle snap-ons, uh, two different sizes, and they both have two different size. Well, they have the same size handle, but... Uh, Two different size screwdrivers and they sit in there just fine uh, they do sit actually all the way to the bottom and if you care about it you can still read your snap-on uh, label there and uh, that holds real good like I say I don't have anywhere on my toolbox where this is particularly useful to me but I do see where this would be useful to a whole lot of you guys out there let's walk over to the big box and have a look at the completed wrench drawer Everything's nice and organized. Everything that I actually use is up front and in order. None of the wrenches are turned around backwards like they were previously. Everything has a place and there's a place for everything. Very clean, very easy to see what you're missing. Very easy also to see what size you're going for because everything's labeled. If you look back here in this back corner, there's enough room relative to the size and spacing of this stuff for an entire another set of say four-way angle head wrenches or another set of uh, stubbies for example they would fit uh, just just fine back here so the space savings is substantial the space addition is substantial the organization is just lovely in my opinion so I am just as happy as I can be with this setup, I think it's all come together well. The code is Cajun, and that'll get you 15% off at checkout. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.